Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Excel tutorial, we are going to learn how you can customize the ribbon in Excel. So if you see this particular gray section with a lot of icons here, right? So like home, insert and all of these icons, this is the ribbon area in Excel. Now how you can say, for example, I want to add a new tab in the ribbon. Okay. So the first thing we need to understand, say for example, I want to hide it, right? So you, you will see this ribbon display option at the top. So if you click on that, you will see that auto hide ribbon. So what this means is you can simply click on that and it will hide the ribbon for you. So you have more space there. If you want to enable it again, then click on this option here and you can see that you want to see only the tabs or you want to see all the options below these ribbons or below these tabs, right? So I can select this third option as well, which will show me the whole ribbon, which is the default option. Now, if I want to add a new tab, then what can I do? I can simply in any of the blank area that you see, so for example, just, you know, in the right hand side, not here uh, just right inside the blank area of any of the tab that you go right so I can click on right click and click on customize the ribbon okay if you want to collapse the ribbon that's basically similar to what we have understood here okay so just right click and customize the ribbon this will open this Excel options window and previously we have understood about the quick access toolbar customizing ribbon is exactly similar right so it will show you the popular commands in the left hand side and in the right hand side you will have the main tabs right that are available so here in the ribbon you will see some of the hierarchy that you need to understand so these are some of the basically you will see that these are the tabs right so home insert draw if you see if i move a little bit down here you will see home insert draw page layout and then formulas um, data review view etc right and below these you will see that there are some new groups right so below the page layout if i go uh, let me close it you have this themes page setup scale to fit etc right so if i go to page layout you will see that you have this themes page setup scale to fit so these are basically these sections that you see for example this page setup or scale to fit these are the groups so what you can do in the ribbon if you want to customize the ribbon or add your own tab and groups within it that's how you can basically create it and assign or create the group and allocate the options or the functionality or the commands within those groups okay so how we can add the tab simply click on new tab and you'll see the new tab has been added okay now i can simply just click on it and rename it right so say for example this is rcv academy so for example this is lengthy name but I, i'm just providing some name there okay and then the group okay so similar to what we have seen in the page layout we have themes page setup scale to fit so similarly if i want to create certain groups then i can simply create the group i can rename the group okay so let me click on that rename it and i will rename it to say for example group one okay i can assign the symbol all right so say for example i will assign any random symbol there and if i want to add more groups below this particular tab i will simply highlight the tab and click on new group and new group will be added below that okay so let me add a couple of more groups there and rename those okay so i have added a tab and four groups below it right now within these groups you want to add certain commands right so that's what the whole purpose of having this custom tab and group for yourself so say for example you want to have a custom tab wherein you want to keep all the very important and very frequently used commands that you can't fit in at the quick access toolbar level okay so this is sort of second level of priority that you want to define for your work and you want to customize those items or the commands below that okay so in the group one I want to add say for example delete cells I will simply highlight the command here and add it by default it will show the popular commands i can go and select all commands and then it will list all the commands that are there okay so i will simply keep adding some of those in the group two i'll add say for example i want to add all charts in group three i will simply say just randomly i'm adding uh, nothing fancy about it i'm just trying to show how you can basically create the tab and the commands below that okay so now i have created a tab and the commands below it now once you are done then you can simply click okay to save all those changes right to reset all of the settings that you have done you simply go to the reset and you 
you can click on reset all customizations and to import and export the options basically to export all these customizations that we have done we'll click on export import export all customization and save the exported file this is very similar to what we have done in the quick access toolbar okay so when we say export customization all the customizations that you do in excel will be exported in a config file and those you can import later if you want to have all those customizations saved somewhere so you do not have to you do not lose all the work that you have done okay so once i click ok you will see there is rcv academy quick access with different groups that have been added right so group one two three and four and the commands that have added within those groups are available in this particular tab right now this tab is appearing in the middle how we can change the location of this tab it's very similar to what we have seen in quick access toolbar we'll select it and say for example i want to move it to the last right i'll simply click this arrow move down and move it to the last or wherever i want to fit in this tab this ribbon right so click ok and you will see this tab is now at the last now make sure you do not provide this lengthy name i have just provided this name for the reference but when you create the tab make sure that it basically makes sense when you are grouping or creating the name of the groups make sure that it makes sense something say for example here like you have drawing tool then you have touch convert so this is very uh, relevant to what the icons are there so you can quickly see what sort of group it is and what icons you might be able to get in that in there okay so this is a brief introduction about uh, the ribbon how you can customize the ribbon how you can hide or unhide it and then how you can add and remove the commands from the ribbon okay so in the custom customize ribbon you will get all the options that you can basically add and if you want to remove some of the groups or item you can simply select the groups for example this one i do not want to have it here i can simply remove it and the group will be gone right from here click ok and you will see only three groups are there right so this is about the ribbon customization in excel i hope this was helpful see you in the next lecture thank you